<laughs> you ready this time? Or are you? Are you? Are you done? Are you done? Get out of here with that greasy cloth. So what are we doing, Jen? Today we are cooking bacon bowls. Okay. Thanks to Proto Mario buying the bacon bowl. Officially as seen on TV. Yeah. This was in the Dollar Tree. This used to be $20. It's not anymore. Actually, this is not as seen on TV. Oh, holy crap. But it is. It's it's as seen on TV. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> it's not, but it is. <laughs> so this is basically what we're going to try and get here. Don't know if we will or not. We'll see. Maybe. What do you guys think? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. All right, first thing to tell you, do not operate until you read all the instructions. So I read these thoroughly. This many instructions for a fucking bowl made of bacon. Are you serious? And they said, do not do anything until you coat it with a grease cloth or paper towel. So you have your greased paper towel here. Ooh. And this is our bowl. Ooh. And we're going to grease it. Just like they said. Do, they said, do not pour the grease on it. They said to wipe the towel on it. Generously. Generously. How can I be any more generous with it? Here, have more oil. I don't know if this is a usual thing, but they felt the need to include an abridged user agreement uh, for consumer rights. So that's that's not good. <laughs> we're good. Most things don't need to put an abridged version of the consumer rights on their product policies. <laughs> you have the right to not sue us because we are stupid and idiotic. You have the right to not test our product for lead and other things that could be toxic to your system. <laughs> that's a generous coating right there. Some good bacon. Oh, I touched the coating. <laughs> now that we have our coating, it says to take two pieces of bacon and crisscross them over. I wonder if it's referring to like really the cheap bacon that's real slim. They must be, because this is definitely not that. We're gonna see. <laughs> and then they tell you to put the fat piece, was it up or down? I think I said up. Fat piece up and wrap it around. Wrap it. Wrap. Oh, I touched it again. Oh, dang it. Would you quit I'm just the stuff? worst. I really am. So I'm assuming that they mean to wrap it and then kind of scooch it down here because this is ridiculous. Yeah, wrap it and tap it, Jeff. And then they said to add another piece around that piece, around the top piece, and that it should overlap it. Yeah, here you go. Do you know most Muslims don't eat bacon, Jen? Yes, I do know that. It's crazy. Do you know that most people aren't proto Mario? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and now we have our bacon. If you don't uh, like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, they can see it. They can see it? They'll show it up close. There's your bacon bowl. That's what it should look like. For uh, vegetarians, this probably isn't the best thing in the world to look at. <laughs> But they do say that you can use it for bread bowls, too. We will try that out. Oh, my God. I'm getting face tracking on the bacon bowl. <laughs> it has a face. Everybody be careful. Seriously, I'm getting face tracking on this. What? <laughs> Everybody should be careful. Very, very careful. Thank you. Bacon. Everyone loves bacon. So why not? Everybody loves bacon. Mm. I don't know about everybody. I have yet do. to meet a single person that dislikes bacon. Vegetarians? No, vegetarians don't eat meat. It doesn't mean they don't like meat. <laughs> a lot of the PETA people don't like meat. Because of what they do to it? <laughs> yes. But farm fresh bacon, and people who are vegetarians because of the abuse, they can overcome the that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the abuse! I'm done. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Hope to get drunk at the bar. Bye, everyone. <laughs> because of the abuse. I forgot my uh, shoes and all of my clothes. And my coat. Like in shorts and a shirt, and it's wintertime. 
Quit aboosing yourself. Yeah, I should stop aboosing myself. <laughs> Here's the other one. I, I'm assuming that this will all kind of firm and harden and not look so able to fall apart. Hang on. So... <laughs> and you should always wash your hands. You know what that looks like? What? A penis. Would you stop it? <laughs> Like kid, man. Come on, come on. We'll draw dicks on the computer again. We'll draw dicks on everything. So I have washed my hands, and we are going to pop this in an oven. Now listen to this. It says you should not exceed temperatures of 375 on your oven. Don't do it. Yet they want you to preheat it and bake it at 375. I am doing 350 because I don't trust my oven. It might explain this <laughs> an upside down abridged legal user agreement right sheet. Look how big this is. Look how big. This is the abridged version of your consumer rights with a product that cost me one dollar. We bring out a baking sheet that you can bake because they tell you to put it on a cookie sheet or something that you can bake. So there we go. And it is ready for the oven. Don't do that. They didn't say to do that. <laughs> what are we gonna do with that then? I will cook it. You're the worst. Cook it. <laughs> cook we'll it. pop it into the oven. Yep, and I will see you back here when they're done. This through, is product. Through the magic of editing. Yes. Through the magic of editing. Editing. Jury you ready? Nope. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. We got our bacon bowls. They're bacony, and we're supposed to be able to pop these suckers off <laughs> easily. Oh my God! Uh, here, maybe we should drain the grease first. There, I got a paper towel. That's something right there. The grease drained really easily there, <laughs> and you're supposed to here. You're supposed to be able to just pop it off. Um, I got this one, sort of. No. <laughs> I don't know what they were going for here, but this is gravity giving me the middle finger. No. Not easily. Oh, Burn yourself. Oh, maybe I should have let him. Oh, there's my bacon bowl. Wow. I assume that this is cooked as I did leave it at 350 for about 35, 40 minutes. So there's that bacon bowl. Yeah, see, this is junk, man. <laughs> Look at this bullshit. I could maybe put an egg in there. Maybe. Fuck. 40 minutes for this. Mm -hmm. 40 minutes for this fucking shit right here. So I got an idea. Let's try the microwave version. You know what? That's a great idea. How about we substitute? Mm -hmm. Since these are already greased up. <laughs> No need to grease them again. Yeah, but I'll eat this bacon here. So You'll eat that bacon. Mm -hmm. It's farm fresh yumminess. Bacon! Remember, guys. If it ain't farm fresh. If it ain't farm fresh, don't eat it. It's farm funky. <laughs> uh, something. If it ain't farm fresh, I'll tell you that. You don't know where it's been. It's been in your mouth. <laughs> I could have got them animals a year ago, stabbed them full of steroids, and had them grow and slider them early. Oh, the poor animals. No. Yeah. The poor animals. So make sure it's farm fresh. Yeah, make sure it's farm fresh. Always. Always know where your meat comes from. Yep. And how it's treated. Mm hmm. Because, hint, hint, <laughs> sometimes it's not always treated right. This bacon's alright, but it's not really that good. <laughs> Well, I did bake it, which they say you can bake it. They say. I only put one like thing of bacon on there and it covered the entire thing. Well, they do say a lot of things, don't they? Yes. They do. See? Like, it's covered. So should I even put the extra bacon on there? Yeah, I might as well. Alright. They say to do it, so... Down the hatch. There we mm. go. Not bad. 
and put an egg in there or something. <laughs> not good, but not bad. We're going we'll to reserve that for the microwave ones. Microwave should be crispier. One can only hope. I can only hope about this. <laughs> there. There. There we go. Yeah, I could squeeze it on there. There we go. There's my fingers afterwards, and that's baked. Baked. And always wash your hands before you touch anything. Oh, Lord. So you're telling me. On a plate, and you're only supposed to microwave them for two and a half minutes. Two and a half. We'll be back when they're done microwave. These uh, bacon bowls exploded in our microwave. Not the bowls, but the bacon generated so much grease that it exploded all over the microwave. I'd like to show you, but the plate is extremely hot. So I'm going to move the plate a little bit in hopes that you can see the glare gleaming off the grease inside of it. There's not much grease is in it. You don't drain it. Seriously. So we're gonna attempt. Here we go. We're gonna attempt. Let me drain these. <laughs> to drain these. There you go. Yeah, I don't want you uh, hurting yourself with molten grease. Molten grease. We've let them sit for a while too. We've let them sit for like 20 minutes, just about after microwaving them, and it did not take two and a half minutes. It took what? Five and well, a half? For two, it takes about six. Six? Okay, so if you do them individually, it might take two and a half minutes. But I have a high powered microwave. They um, said it was for 1100 watts? Yeah, I have a 1250 watt microwave. So, and I wanted them a little bit more crispy. So, so yeah. I put them in for six minutes. So, uh, let's try to get them here. What do you think? Can it just pull up? Nope. No. <laughs> A chip of bacon just went somewhere. Uh oh, I'll oh, clean up. I'll sweep. Oh jeez. No. These are not coming off. No. <laughs> I'm scared to touch them too, man. Someone please say it wasn't greased up enough. <laughs> Someone please. Please don't hit me with it. <laughs> you keep aiming I got it. a piece of... No. I got a... No. Mm. Nope. <laughs> now you're the one with the knife. I'm the one with the fork. I'm just trying. I'm this intelligence over here. <laughs> yeah, this ain't the same one. I got it to the desired Christmas. <laughs> so, while it's good in bull form, um, it's not coming off. Oh, man. It's really not. Bacon's still good though. Screw it. Eat it right off the bowl. <laughs> it's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nummy. Crispy. Let me try and get this one. Mm -hmm. You try it, whatever you want. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. I'm gonna move away from you. Crispy. Not good. <laughs> I like crispy, you like too. So, we're at home better. <laughs> it's bacon. It's still bacon. It tastes like bacon. It looks like bacon. It is bacon. <laughs> yeah, this really doesn't change anything. It just puts it in bowl form and... Oh and that God. is really, really stupid. You'd have a better time just halfway cooking the bacon, pulling it off, and using your tools just to shape it around something circular that won't melt. Mm -hmm. And then cooking it the rest of the way. Please don't cut yourself. <laughs> well... Jen, I'm not emo. We will use this bacon mm. for pizza. Well, you can use that bacon. Okay, we're good. Um, but next, we are going to try it after we get it hacked off. Oh, and you're not supposed to use anything abrasive because it could hurt the coating. What coating, man? You see this? <laughs> Look how much grease is on there. You see this? What coating? 
So uh, I'm going to next do some biscuits and try to make bread bowls, as it says in not only the commercial, but also in the actual box itself. So come on back and uh, you'll get to see it with the magic of editing. Magic bread and chopper. It's so good. It's so tasty. It's so crunchy. I'm going to eat the rest of this bowl. I'll see you guys later. Okay, so we have here our nice little cleaned as best as we can did you bacon wanna, bowl. Did you want to explain why we don't have two? Uh, the other one is so warped that what happened was the bacon stuck to it. And now it has to soak for about three hours before it'll get loose enough that I can scrub it out. Did you want to explain um, that it's <laughs> our first time? Yeah, it is. That's the first use ever. Yeah, the first use ever, our first time. Fresh out of the box, man. I think it would have been better if I just burnt a dollar. Yeah. I literally took my camera and just burnt a dollar and said, here's the bacon bowl. Well, we're going to put, I, I, I uh, measured it out to a fourth inch thickness by rolling pin. Because it specifically said I had to have a rolling pin. It said, do not use anything else. Use a rolling pin. So I did. And I will cover this with my bread. Bread. That's dough, yeah. Dough. Dough. Just wanted to throw that out there. And I will bake it at 350, like I always do, and we'll see how it turns out. I really hope that this turns out better than the bacon. We're, uh... We're back! We're professionals. We're back. How y'all doing? Remember, this is our third try. We're gonna cook scope for you. It's the quick scope cook scoping. There you go. Okay. We tried to make the awesome bread bowl that they said it was. It is now fairly cool. And it looks like a muffin top. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it it really looks like a muffin top. Bag. To what they like to call perfection. So shall we try to get it off here? You gonna take a shot at it? Take a shot at it. You take a shot. Oh sugar coat. There we go. And it looks like it made it. But the inside is dough! Should I cook that longer? It's not cooked! Well, sugar snap peas. Well, no. No, it's just baked and not browned. It is a little doughy, but not bad. I'm sure if I... So this works. For bread. Kind of. But, but I wouldn't consider this to be a bowl. I mean, it holds the size of a shot glass in it. Right? One egg. That would fit in there. That's it. I mean, yeah, and that's good, but... Well, what about the fixins? What about bacon and cheese and... And look at this. It's actually stuck to the thing. It's yeah, not you to really do that. don't have a lot of room for anything. And on top of it, you, if you're looking to make breakfast in 10 to 15 minutes, it's not gonna make it in time. You know what is even worse? These little ridges are hard to clean. You can take a muffin pan, flip it over, and bake the same thing with less mess. Guaranteed. No muss, no fuss. No muss, no fuss. This is muss and fuss, an Ooh, extra time. That's a lot of muss and fuss. I swear to God, dude, this is just an upside down orange juicer. Yeah. I swear to God, they just took the top off it, and that's all it is. Mm -hmm. They made it blunt. This is an upside down orange juicer that somebody sold. So, yeah. That's what this is. Don't care. It's terrible. I'm not even going to give it to Goodwill. What should I do with it? Throw it away. I can't get the other one clean, so you're going to have to throw it away. I have to throw them away. I can't give them to Goodwill food on them. This is great. This is terrible. It's fucking horrible. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I should ask for my dollar back. <laughs> I want my dollar back. I bet you they'd be like, fine, here. <laughs> so yeah, this is what it is. Um, join us next time when we try something even more amazing than the awesome bacon bowl.